G'day guys and welcome back to another install video. So today we're chucking a snorkel on the big patrol. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably thinking that I would have went a stainless one after having one on the Ranger but we've decided to go back to a plastic snorkel for this one. Um, yeah, no reason in particular, I just feel like they are a little bit less prone to taking water on. Not that we had much trouble with the Ranger, but um, yeah, just decided to go a plastic one on this one. So, let's get cracking. Let's have a look at what they've supplied us. We've got the actual intake here for the guard. So that's gonna go obviously right there. We've got this, uh, God knows what it is, but looks like something that would go in the air box possibly. And then we've got this crossover pipe, which basically would go from the back of this and put it in like that into the guard. So this piece here would obviously go like that sort of thing, you know, somehow. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll piece it all together. It's all good. So they got us some instructions here. Let's have a look at the first ones they suggest. Um, Remove the air box and pull the inner guard out. Remove the air box, pull the inner guard and take this vent out. So, let's do that. Seven clips in it, a couple of screws, and then you got to take off the inside here. I'll take all that off now, and then I'll come back to you. All right, let's run through the last few steps. So, two clips here, one, two, and this inner piece pulls out, which is that fella there. And then we got to take this out, which was a clip here and one clip right at the top but what i did was when you reach inside the guard it's up here see the, that hole there you just grab that and just pull it down and it just pops the clip so then we had to move the um vent out and that's just clipped in it's clipped in these little where these recesses are so i got I managed to get up under there and push this corner out and then I got a screwdriver under and I just pulled it. I didn't prise it because it would scratch the paint there. But I just simply like pulled it towards me and then they all clipped out. And I'll show you that here. See? You can see the little clips. Very easy to pull out. So even if you're wanting to black these screws out, they just pop in and out. For those playing at home. And I think we're up to stage of probably cutting, maybe templating or whatever it is. And then the actual fitment. So we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Not a, not a bad job so far. Let's see what's next day. Cut your template out. And then we're gonna stick it onto the car. 
and we'll, that'll show you exactly where you need to drill and cut and all that sort of fun stuff. So we've got to cut that out. And we've got to drill one, two, three, four, five holes, 14 mil diameter. But what I did have, I had my indicator here. Same as this side. This is only, you'll only have these on if you've had the big GBM done. Like that. So I'm going to have to relocate that a little bit, move it around to Mr. Snorkel, which is fine. It's, um, yeah, it's only one little hole, but I'm hoping to cover that up, you know, when I move the, when I move the light. Well, I will cover it up. It's not going to, I'm not going to leave a bloody hole there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to cut this out with some of these. I don't have a hundred, was it a 121 mil hole saw? I don't have one of them, so I'm just going to do it with the tin snips. It should be fine. I've done guards with them before and this feels fairly light anyway, so it should be good. All right, well, I'm going to cut all that out and drill it and check back in after that. We're officially at the point of no return. <laughs> it's funny that I always feel like this after I've cut and drilled into my cars. While I'm doing it, I'm like, man, just get it done. And then I look at it and go, oh crap. Anyways. I've got to um, rust proof those holes. That's curing over there. I just used some uh, Sikaflex. Just gooped a whole heap inside, oversealed on the outside. Doesn't look pretty, but it's going to work amazing. Don't worry about that. So now what we've got to do, you got this standard, this is off the standard air box. You would have pulled that off. You need to drill them out to 12 mil, those holes there. And then we're going to install this little duck bill that they supply for you. See that? Into the air box in that hole there. You can see it's already got a little drain hole there. But basically what this does is it lets water out you can see the, but then under acceleration, it squeezes shut. So as, as if you're doing like a water crossing, it'll squeeze that shut and won't let water in. So it's a very clever design. A lot of people are using these now in their air boxes and stuff. Although this is a very, very tiny version of it. I'm sure it'll work fine. You also have to drill out these two holes here. One there, one over there. 14 mil again. Yeah, so they have to go to 14. These have to go to 12. Just so we're clear on that. And there's the duck bill installed. So now we're going to put this foam tape around the edge of this. And I'll show you how that ends up at the end. And then that gets placed inside the air box here. So the foam's on. You can see it in between there. And then that slides in from the inside. And now what we've got to do is there's a couple of holes that's got to be drilled like here. One there and one here. And then that gets um, a little retaining clip on it. These guys here. So there's your measurements there. Looking from the top. You're going to measure in 16 mil from here to there. And then 18 millimeters back from here to the back there. So we'll go and do that now. And what size hole are they? Mark the position to be drilled later, the mask and tape. Mark the bottom. There's the measurements for the bottom. So that's 28 millimeters from the edge in, 26 back from the front there, and then 
both holes positioned now marked using an 11 mil drill bit. Drill through both the air box and the water diverter as shown. And then put the plugs in. 11 mil, hey? I'm sure I've got one of them. Not. Oh, need 11 mil drill bit. Oh well. We'll make it work. Might have to get the Stanley knife involved. Alright. <clears throat> I oversealed it. Silicon. And then I'm going to push that. Push that through back to where it lives. Just like that. And then I'm simply just going to put some screws around it. Put one at the top. Maybe one on each side. And that'll lock it all in place. So nothing needs to go in here. Like no other pieces. But we, we have something to go on the outside here. So as long as you don't mess up this foam stuff too much. You should be right. But I think I'm just going to put. A couple of these little. Little screws in. Um, it's literally just to hold the, wo the water diverter in there. So basically. Um, inside the so inside the air box it used to just come in here and it could pull water up onto the filter if any water got in there but this here literally pulls air in and it's got like a little drip sides and everything so anything that gets pulled into the air box has to drip off and it won't go straight up onto your filter up here and hopefully it'll go down that little um, duck bill and out of your airbox. So I'm going to overseal this. I'll put a couple of screws in it just to hold it. And then that should be it for that step. So it's a little bit different to the... They just want you to put these two plugs in. But, you know, I'd rather just put a couple of screws in it to be honest. So a little bit of a diversion from the, from the um, instructions. But that's up to you whether you follow what I'm doing or them. So... So there it is, just got one, two, three little button heads, the thread does go inside a little bit but so would the um, plugs, so I feel like they're going to seal a lot better. They're going to seal a lot better than the um, little push in things, my opinion. part here goes up in the guard So yeah, these are like a two, you can um, hold it with the Allen key and just undo the nuts on them. Oh, 
So we've got it to that stage. Now, what I need to do is I'm hoping that's just gonna sort of just chill there for a second. I've got to goop the other end up. So I'm going to silicon, not this one up yet, but the back edge in here, just silicon as much as you can in there, and then these two will sandwich together. If you feel like there's not enough silicon on there, just chuck a bit more on. It's not going to hurt. That goes on there. Now. Try not to move it around too much once you've got it in place. Alright, so I'm just going to sit that there for now. Um, where's my two big washers? Two big washers? Now I'm just going to push that out. Oh, are they for this? Let me just check these washers are right. Well, it looks like that's the only washers they gave me. Is the other one like? The other one might be alright. Let's see if we can get one in. Yep, this one works alright. Put that one on while I can. This one here, I just need to trim that little bit of plastic off. There you go. That should work now. Now yeah, I need me now. Nah. Oh, so unorganized today. Alright. Push that through. Put a nut on it. Now. thing like load it up and I'm going to do the same with the airbox side we're going to go plonk put the bolts in and that should be sealed up really well so far I'm really impressed with the kit I've fitted up a safari snorkel before and I was impressed with the quality on that one this here everything's fitting together real nice everything's tight enough that um, I'm not expecting any water to get in there, so yeah, so far, three big thumbs up for the TJM snorkel, it looks like a really good bit of gear, so let's get this airbox in and we'll go from there. <laughs>
Yeah, that looks really good. Let's give it a little. Little touch up where you need to. Hey mate, that thing's loaded with silicon. I'm gonna say that's gonna seal up real bloody well. So yeah, don't be afraid with the silicon, eh? Just so the thing is, you can't see right around it. So you're better off to you're better off to overseal it, and then don't have to worry about it ever again. All right, guys. Same deal as everything else. Silicon. Silicon to both sides. Try and give it a little twist as it goes in there. Looking good so far. Now the fun part. I'm going to put five nuts and washers on there. Oh. So I've been struggling here, getting these bolts in. You've got to really reach up in there. And, um, I'll be honest, this one at the front here is a freaking pain in the ass, mate. But, we got it. At 15 minutes of trying. Where you want to mark your snorkel, uh, mark your holes for your pop rivets so we'll go and do that now just nip up this bracket just enough to hold it and that's where it's gonna sit somewhere there there yeah, mark that up and drill holes out I think it's a two what size are they um five mil three five mil holes in the A-pillar in there put the snorkel head on which is this um, this big sucker here goes on there that can get nipped up And then this can all go back together now. I think I'm gonna, I'll finish this all off now. And then I'll give you an overview of the whole project, a difficulty, and I'll give you another look at the finished product with all the bonnet down and everything. But overall, I think it's been pretty good to put together. All right, let's get this finished off, eh? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex.
All right, let's wrap up the video. Um, quality, rating out of 10, I would say probably like a eight and a half or a nine. Um, most of it was pretty good. So, but you know, nothing's perfect. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with the, whole, with the overall fitment and everything. Everything that's joined together is I've over siliconed everything, so it should be watertight. Um, quality, yeah, really happy with the quality on it. Um, difficulty, I'm gonna have to say an eight or seven and a half. Now, I've done a lot of this stuff before, like a lot. I've built a lot of cars, all different types and it's a bit fiddly there's a lot of holes drilling siliconing um and if you haven't done many before i'd probably suggest that you just take your time and over seal it all right that's my biggest thing just over seal everything if you think there's enough silicon on there add some more but um yeah difficulty i would say yeah, probably like an eight or something. Um, looks, I think it looks really good. So it's slim. You know, that's that's a hand on there. Doesn't seem to stick out as much as the Safari snorkel, and it looks bloody good. And I love this air ram. It's it's actually a really good it's actually a really good design because it's got this little um, sort of like a little moat so anything that drips in there is going to sit in this low section I don't know how well you can see it but it sort of steps up in there so it will sit in this low section and then run down here and out this hole I think that's the um, that's the idea behind it. So yeah, it'll just drip out that hole there. So anything that, as as air and rain are getting directed in there, it'll simply go through and run out that hole. So I think they've um they've got a good bit of gear there. Uh, that's pretty much it, eh? I really like the product. So if you guys are thinking maybe TJM because it looks a bit sleeker than the um, Safari, I will say go for it because I'm very happy that we went the TJM one over the Safari. I think it just looks good and since they've got rid of that, they used to have that head that tucked, tucked in over the window and a lot of people have water ingestion. So now that they've got the ram head on there, I don't see that being a problem. Oh yeah, I think that's um, that's a wrap for the TJM snorkel. How are you? Going, mate? Hey, right, yeah. So if you enjoyed the install, give the video a like, and if you really want to help the channel out, subscribe, and that way you don't miss any of our mods and adventures and stuff. So I'll leave it at that, and I'll see you on the next one. Pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm